Chapter 1, Outer Court Disciple This chapter is updated by Novels.pl Night The round moon was hanging high and stars filled the sky. However, within the river of stars, there were nine colored lights lingering amongst them and they were especially dazzling. Abnormal signs appear in the sky, which means a divine body will descend. On the summit of the imperial city in the nine provinces, an old man in golden clothes stood with his hand behind his back and he was looking up into the night sky. Behind him were tens of thousands of imperial city experts, all of them were half kneeled as if waiting for some command. BZZ. Suddenly, the lights condensed and formed into nine colored lightning. It came striking down from above the river of stars in the heavens. At that instant, the black night became a white day. Even before the strike of the lightning, the ground was already rumbling and fiercely trembling. But that nine colored lightning, the moment it collided with the land, it did not do any terrifying damage. Rather, it completely disappeared. At the same time, the world was enveloped by the night once again. The originally bright night sky darkened quite a bit, as if some important essence was removed and the former Senea days were restored. The old man's eyes were abnormally bright and his excited body was even trembling. He pointed towards the location in which the lightning had landed, within the borders of the Azure province. Bring all the infants that were born tonight back to the imperial city. Yes sir. The thunder-like response resonated past the horizon and tens of thousand imperial city experts headed towards the Azure province. They swore to look for the divine body and give it to the imperial court for use. Time passed. Five years elapsed with a blink and although people still remembered the frightening scene that year, no one knew the actions of the imperial court. Within the borders of the Azure province of the nine provinces, amongst the countless of schools, the Azure Dragon School was one of them. Today, once again, it was the annual recruitment of disciples for the Azure Dragon School. There were oceans of people outside of the school. Every time, the busiest people were the outer court disciples. All the responsibilities of the admittance for the school were all pushed onto their heads. Outer court disciples. They were the ones that did the hard and thankless tasks. Not only were their position lowest in the school, they were even looked down upon by outsiders. The reason was very simple. If they were an outer court disciple, it meant that their aptitude was horrible and in their entire life, it would be very hard for them to have any big achievements so naturally. They were despised upon. Oi, what's with this attitude? Do you know who I am? A lady who wore gorgeous clothes had a boy with her as she pointed and loudly yelled at a young man. I am very sorry. It is already late now and the school will close soon. Please come back tomorrow. The young man's delicate face was still young and tender, but between his eyebrows, he had a bit of heroic spirit. He was called Chu Feng. He was 15 this year and he was one of the tens of thousands of outer court disciples in the Azure Dragon School. Although he was an outer court disciple, Chu Feng was different from all the others. He did not feel inferior to others and he did not degrade himself. He did not feel afraid or scared while treating others and he was very calm. Come back tomorrow. Don't you think I'm an idiot? These are the mountains. Where are you even going to let us sleep? You must arrange a place of residence for me, or else I'll go find your elders for reasoning. The lady did not listen and did not care. She even grabbed onto Chu Feng's clothes. Chu Feng. Have you met with trouble? But just at that time, a sweet voice could be heard. Looking at that direction, a young female who wore purple was walking over. Although there was a faint smile on her mouth, her eyes were fierce and they tightly stared at the lady. As she saw the young female, the color of the lady's face instantly changed and a strong expression of fear gushed out. It was not because of anything else. It was just because the young female was wearing the purple robe and that was a mark of the inner disciples. The lady hiddily cursed. She originally thought she could use her status to make things difficult for the young man in front of her. Who would have thought that the unremarkable young man in front of her had the support of an inner disciple? The inner disciples were an existence that she couldn't offend. It's nothing it's nothing. I was just inquiring some things from him. The lady explained while smiling. The young female glared at her and only said one word scram. At that instant, the lady's body couldn't help but tremble and her face was already ashen. But she did not hesitate at all. She pulled the boy and quickly left, and under the panic she even tripped, which made her look very rough. Seeing that, 
Chu Feng helplessly shook his head and said politely to the young female next to him, Thank you very much Chu, no need to be so polite, we're family right? Chu was a bit displeased, she was correct. They were indeed family, they came from the same family, Chu. Chu was Chu Feng cousin, from Chu Feng's father's brother line and she was only one year older than Chu Feng. However, Chu already passed the inner disciple exam three years ago and became an inner disciple. She was now in the fourth level of the spirit realm. We need to follow the school rules. Chu Feng said with a brilliant smile. T.N. What he meant by following the school rules was being respectful to elders, as inner court disciples, outer court disciples. Looking at Chu Feng behaving like that, Chu's heart ached. Chu Feng, are you still not going to participate in this year's inner disciple exam, or is it that you still haven't reached the third level of the spirit realm? Chu Feng did not respond and a faint smile still hung on his face. No one knew what he meant. Seeing that, Chu took off a bag from her waist and put it in Chu Feng's hands, refine it. Perhaps it'll help you break through the third level. Chu Feng opened the bag and instantly, strong spiritual energy was emitted from it. A bright, sparkling, transparent saint spirit grass that was the size of a finger laid within. Chu this is too precious, I can't take it. Chu Feng hurriedly returned it back to Chu Saint Spirit Grass. It was like a panacea for martial training and it was extremely precious. It had endless usefulness for those within the spirit realm. To increase their training speed, the Chu family would supplement one Saint Spirit Grass to the Chu family members every year. Chu was also supplemented by the family, but she didn't use it and gave it to Chu Feng. It really moved Chu Feng so he really couldn't accept it. When I say I give it to you, you should take it. You are my little brother after all. Chu was slightly irritated. Oh, when were you so generous and even started to give saint spirit grasses to people? Look, I am your little brother as well, and coincidentally, I will almost have a breakthrough into fourth level of the spirit realm. How about you give the saint spirit grass to me? A young man around the age of Chu Feng walked over and he was also wearing clothes of the inner court disciples. He was called Chu Zen and he was also from the Chu family. Five years ago, he entered the Azure Dragon School at the same time as Chu Feng. However, he became an inner disciple two years ago. Chu Zen, you've already broke past the third level of the spirit realm and successfully can Condensed spiritual energy. Even if you don't have this saint spirit grass you can rank up quickly. But Chu Feng has not condensed spiritual energy yet, so this saint spirit grass is more important to him. Chu Yasubli put the saint spirit grass into Chu Feng's hands. Yep, you are correct, but sadly he doesn't want it. Chu Zen spread his hands open and sneered. Who said that I didn't want it? But then, Chu Feng lightly smiled and unrestrainedly put the saint spirit grass in his pocket before saying, Chu I will borrow this saint spirit grass, on a later date I will return them back twofold, okay. Seeing that Chu Feng accepted it, Chu was already happy, so she just randomly responded and didn't care whether Chu Feng would return it back or not. If you're taking it then why return it, giving you this saint spirit grass for you to use is such a waste. Chu Zen's face had a really ugly look on it. Chu Feng just smiled and ignored him. He then said to Chu Yi, Chu Yi, I will participate in this year's Inner Disciple exam. HMPH, you, if you can pass the Inner Disciple exam, I'll give this year's supplemented Saint Spirit Grass to you. Chu Zen looked at Chu Feng with contempt. Is that true? Chu Feng didn't really believe it. Chu will be the witness. But what if you can't pass it, then the same spirit grass I get this year will belong to you. Leaving that sentence behind, Chu Feng continued to throw himself into the work of outer court disciples. Chu Zen, we are family. Why do you always need to make things so hard for Chu Feng? Chu looked at Chu Zen with annoyance. Family? Chu, you should know that that Chu Feng isn't part of our Chu family. After entering the school for five years, he still hasn't passed the inner disciple exam. He is absolutely the disgrace of our Chu family. In the entire Chu family, which one likes him? Only you treat him nicely and you even give your own saint spirit grass to him for use. Chu Zen really did not understand. You are truly stupid. Chu was a bit angry and after glaring at him for a moment, 
She walked away. On the other hand, Chu Zhen smiled. He really was happy, although he didn't get Chu's saint spirit grass. He knew that this year, Chu Fen's saint spirit grass would certainly be his. A bit into the night, in the resting area for the outer court disciples, it was complete darkness. After being busy for the entire day, everyone was very tired and they slept very early. Only Chu Feng's room was still lit up by light. He sat on the front of the bed took out the saint spirit grass that Chu gave him and muttered, I hope this saint spirit grass can make you fall. After saying that, Chu Feng closed both his eyes, clamped the saint spirit grass between both his palms and did a strange hand seal. At that instant, the spiritual energy inside the saint spirit grass started to enter Chu Feng's body through his palm and it converged into his dungeon. At the same time, Chewing sounds came from Chu Feng's dungeon as if something was having a meal. If you look through his skin, you would discover in the deep part of Chu Feng's dungeon, a lump of lightning was occupying there. That lump of lightning had nine colors and every color was like a huge lightning beast. It emitted a terrifying aura that did not belong to this world. Chapter 2 Beauty Elder. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Chu Feng wasn't really from the Chu family. He was an adopted son by Chu Yuan, the fifth oldest in the Chu family. That caused Chu Feng to be pushed aside and to be humiliated at a small age. If it wasn't for Chu Yuan's protection, he would have already been kicked out of the Chu family. Because of that, Chu Feng was very thankful towards Chu Yuan and swore to become the pride of Chu Yuan and to win back some honor. Five years ago, Chu Feng was exactly ten years old and it was the best age to train in the martial arts. The him at that time had many expectations for training, because he felt that the time to prove himself had arrived. However, he never would have thought after entering the Azure Dragon School for one month, lightning would strike his body and enter his dungeon. At first, Chu Feng even thought it was good luck, because when he started training, his speed of improvement was astonishing. In two short months, he arrived at the second level of the spirit realm. That speed was completely abnormal, and because of that, Chu Feng didn't dare to tell it to anyone so he hid his strength and continued training. But the good scene did not last long. Just as Chu Feng thought he became a genius, change happened within his body. Because of that change. It made it so his cultivation stopped and did not move forward, and he was labeled to have the most horrible talent of a lifetime. BZZ. At that time, the saint spirit grass in Chu Feng's hands was being refined and absorbed by his Dantain. His refining speed was extremely fast and it exceeded common sense. Normally, with Chu Feng's strength, it would take at least one month to refine the saint spirit grass. However, looking at it now, it was already halfway refined just after a short while, and Chu Feng's dungeon that felt like a never-ending cave also had a feeling of being full. BZZ suddenly, light floated over Chu Feng's hand and the other half of the saint spirit grass instantly disappeared. Also, at the same time, everything changed in Chu Feng's dungeon. The nine lightning beasts interwove with each other. It was hurriedly moving, and it was actually condensing. Finally. It turned into a pill-like object. After the pill formed itself, endless spiritual energy surged out from it like a tide washing Chu Feng's body. Very soonly, it permeated through his entire body. Whoosh! Chu Feng suddenly opened his eyes, and there were traces of lightning in them. An indescribable expression hung on his face. I succeeded. After five years, I finally succeeded. Chu Feng was incomparably joyful. He jumped down from the bed. And as he walked around, he sized up his body. In the journey of martial cultivation, the known realms were the following, spirit, origin, profound, and heaven. Those were the four big realms, and every realm was divided into nine levels. The first level of the spirit realm. The main point of it was to train the physical body with special methods, and to increase strength. But after reaching the second level of the spirit realm, 
one must use ways to condense spiritual energy, only people who successfully condensed their spiritual energy in their danshan could truly start their path in martial cultivation, Chu Feng's body changed and it made it unable to condense spiritual energy, the divine lightning in his danshan were like nine hungry wild beasts, the spiritual energy that Chu Feng condensed would always be engulfed by the divine lightning, but he didn't give up, it was because he found out that although the divine lightning did engulf his spiritual energy, there was a limit, as long as he kept on providing spiritual energy towards his danshan, he could fill it up one day, and today, he finally succeeded, this is a really strong feeling, endless amounts of spiritual energy is surging into my body, as though it was going to break through my body, this feeling was inconceivable to Chu Feng, he never would have thought that the divine lightning would directly condense into a pill and occupy a place in the danshan, the spiritual energy that the divine lightning was giving off was very dense and it was beyond imagination, he knew that even with his five years of non-stop cultivation, he could not condense such strong spiritual energy, the reason why he could was because of that divine lightning, BZZ but just at that time, Chu Feng's body suddenly became stiff, and his expression also changed greatly, the divine lightning was changing, his power instantly increased by several times, and he suddenly broke through again and stepped into the fourth level of the spirit realm, have the hard times stopped and the good times come, Chu Feng tightly clenched his fist and he felt that the explosive power in his body was worth his five years of suffering, suddenly continuously breaking through two levels, the unexplainable method of becoming strong finally returned, he used a severe gaze to look towards the direction of the inner court and muttered, Chu Zen, I'll be taking your sane spirit grass, the azure dragon school's disciple recruitment only happened once a year and every time, it lasted for 10 days, after 10 days, the annual inner disciple exam would start, this time, Chu Feng who had been silent for 5 years would also participate, the exam location was a huge underground palace, within the main hall of the underground palace, the number of people were like oceans and mountains and there were most likely over 10,000 people. Most of the people there were at the third level of the spirit realm because everyone knew that the inner disciple exam required one to be at least in the third level to pass. However, there was also a small portion of disciples at the second level and they wanted to try to pass it within the confusion. There were people like that every year, but most of them ended with failures. The thing worth mentioning though, was that there were also a small portion of fourth levels there, they were not mediocre people who trained slow, and in fact, some of them were even geniuses, they intentionally waited until they were at the fourth level of the spirit realm before participating in the inner disciple exam, the reason for the reward, when one reached the third level, they could start training martial skills, martial skills were very strong attacking methods, not only could they thoroughly display strength, they could also make people gain power that exceeded the limits of their body, because of that, martial skills were very precious, and even the rich and powerful families that has been existing for generations didn't have them, that was the reason why all sorts of families had to send their young generations into various schools for cultivation, in every school, there were a large amount of martial skills, and within the years your dragon school, as long as you become an inner court disciple, you could start cultivating the martial skills, martial skills were also divided into ranks, and from the weakest to the strongest, there were nine ranks, within the inner court, the best martial skill book was only a rank 3 one, but, within the annual inner disciple exam, the first person to pass it would get a rank 4 martial skill book, that was why those people would rather train in the outer court and not enter the inner court, it was for the rank 4 martial skill book, look, isn't that Yang Tanyu, what, it really is him, he's already at the fourth level of the spirit rank by the age of 13, it seems like first place in this exam will be him, in the ocean of people, one young man grabbed people's attention, to be more precise it was a boy, there were dozens of thousands of disciples in the outer court and most of them were unknown characters, however, the focal figures that people paid attention to were mostly geniuses, in which this Yang Tanyu was one of them, that may not be so, no matter how much aptitude Yang Tanyu has, he is, at the end, a child, it would be very hard for him to get first, there are many unknown talents in Azure Dragon School, 
and sometimes geniuses may not be able to beat the mediocre, for example, that you are Nuxuan. Another outer court disciple pointed with his fingers at a cold young man. That person was called Duan Yuxuan. He has been in the Azure Dragon School for six years and he was also originally an unknown character. But a few months ago, he unexpectedly defeated an inner disciple who was in the fourth level of the spirit realm. Because of that, his name was widespread and he became the focal character of the outer court. Silence. Suddenly, a loud and clear sound echoed. Looking at the source, everyone couldn't help but stare blankly. They saw a dozen or so silhouettes appear on the high platform in the hall. Most of them were aged, old people, and they were the outer court elders. But not only was the leader young, she was even a beautiful female. The female was wearing a red, skin-tight dress and it outlined her alluring curves. Especially under the dress, there were two straight, snow-white legs and it could be said that they were perfect. Not only was her body attractive, her appearance was also extremely lovely. With round eyes, red lips, and an oval face, it was just like a fox face. She was the famous beauty elder of Azure Dragon School, Suru. Suru was a top-class character. She entered the Azure Dragon School at the age of 10, entered the inner court at the age of 12, and became a core disciple at the age of 15. But just as everyone were optimistic and thought that she would become as your dragon school's number one disciple, she suddenly became an elder. No one had the inside information about this change, and up to today, it was still a mystery and it was discussed enthusiastically by people. What? It's Suru. Wasn't she supposed to be an elder in the inner court? Why did she come to the outer court? With the appearance of Suru, all of the male disciples opened their mouths and some even drooled. The outer court disciples were very young. Most of them were teenagers and some were even children. To them at their age, a mature female like Suru had the most charm. Suru didn't have the air of the elders as she charmingly smiled towards the crowd and said gently, The exam rules are very simple. Enter the gate behind me and come out from the other gate. With that you pass the exam. The only difference is that the first person to pass will get a rank 4 skill book. You can't even get this in the inner courts. But something worth mentioning is that the person who is first this year will get another special reward. Depending on one's perspective, this reward could be even more precious than the previous one after saying that, Suru intentionally lengthened the intonation. The enchanting air filled the entire hall. 